For the second time in two months, a recovery mission had to be launched near the Utah-Arizona border. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Evans. And I'm Kelly Chapman. Tonight, we are learning more about Gary York and John Walter from Ohio. The hikers were found dead after being swept away by a flash flood near Buckskin Gulch. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson was in Kane County today as the recovery effort concluded. My dad was one of the best men I've ever known. If somebody needed help, and even my Uncle Gary, they, they would be the first to pitch in. Corey Messer says her father, 72-year-old John Walter, and his brother-in-law, 65-year-old Gary York, were incredibly close. Gary trying to cheer John up with one of their hiking trips together after his wife, Corey's mother, passed away in April. When mom passed, my Uncle Gary came to town and he said, John, I got the deal of a lifetime and I think we should take our trip of a lifetime. And that's kind of how this trip came up. This was dad's like first real adventure um, of his retirement traveling plans. Corey says she talked to her dad every day, so when she didn't hear from him over the course of the weekend, she grew concerned. Oh, Sunday morning, one of our search and rescue members, who's also a backcountry guide in the Buckskin Gulch area, uh, called us and let us know that a tour group was going down through the Perea River, and they came across a deceased male that was lying in the river. Corey's uncle Gary would be identified the next day when Corey and her family reported the two men being overdue from their hiking trip. Then a search mission was on to find John Walter. All right, I see him slow it up. They eventually located him um, in the Buckskin Gulch. Deputy Willis says a flash flood caught the men by surprise and swept York 10 miles downstream and Walter seven to eight miles, leaving behind a devastated family. We lost just extraordinary men. They were not only pillars of our family, they were they were pillars of the community. Um, just anybody they were involved with, they were just great human beings and life will never be the same without either one of them. Again, this is the second tragedy to take place near Buckskin Gulch this spring. The first when two hikers from Florida were also lost to a flash flood in the area in March. And speaking with Deputy Rod Willis, he tells me they haven't seen any deaths in 20 years. Now they have four leading to an unprecedented and heartbreaking year with this spring weather and snowpack. In Kane County, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.